caught. You heard it here first. The man police say started shooting in a quiet, clean neighborhood and triggered a lockdown that lasted for hours. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us at 10 for 25 News. I'm Dennis Turner. Police looked high and low for 27-year-old Jeffrey Sterling Lane Jr. after the echoes of the gunfire faded on Friday. Finally, a break today led police right to the man, hiding just two counties away from where his victim lay in intensive care fighting for life. Neighbors tell 25 the arrest gives them a measure of relief tonight, but that Friday's events, well, they still have them shaken. 25 News reporter Olivia Levetta has exclusive and still developing details. Killeen police zeroed in on 27-year-old Jeffrey Sterling Lane Jr. in their shooting investigation at Anover Drive on the city's southwest side. They burst into an apartment where they believed he'd taken refuge after the shooting. Lane kept lots of distance between himself and authorities Friday as the Bell County District Attorney charged him with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Early Saturday, police got a tip. Lane may have taken off to Austin to hide out from the cops. Investigators passed that information on to the United States Marshals Service, which found Lane and returned him to Bell County, where police booked him into the Killeen City Jail. Donald Camp heard the shots police say came from Lane's gun and says they might as well have come for the whole neighborhood. We shouldn't have to be in a situation that we have to be threatened and safe in our community, nice community over here. Police found a man with a gunshot wound in the middle of Botanical Drive and had him airlifted to Baylor Scott and White's with life-threatening injuries. One man, concerned about going on camera, saw it all. It sounded like two friends kind of getting into an argument. Uh, and then one of them, one of them said, get out of here. I'm sitting here, watch Buddy walk past my door, whatever confrontation they had a conversation about. Okay, we sitting here, all of a sudden, pow, pow, pow. And then I heard three initial shots. Uh, I thought it was fireworks because the guy that was getting shot at was laughing. So I didn't, I didn't really think anything of it until the fourth one. And then as soon as the fourth one hit him, he dropped. And then he started rolling around for a little bit. He got right back up and then he started running uh, through the alleys and um, I didn't see the shooter. Police say the gunman got away on foot and may have barricaded himself in an apartment on Andover Drive, prompting officers to close down several streets for hours. They later realized the suspect got away, leaving neighbors uneasy. It's kind of just crazy because, uh, like I said, it was middle of the day. There's kids running around. Kids who, for now, will probably stay inside. Olivia Laveda, 25 News, Colleen. Lane must still face arraignment before a Bell County judge. He could face a murder charge if his victim doesn't survive. 